Hello there boys and girls, welcome to Scottish Geeks. Today we are going to be playing a game called The Tape. Now, the Tape was gifted to me by the official Eros, I would just like to say thank you very much for that. Without further ado, let's get into this game. Tip, you can change the camera effects in the options menu, well isn't that lovely? Ah, so we've begun! Yes. Yes, Mrs. Yes, Mrs. Davis. Yes, I'm going to now. <laughs> you know, it's so weird. That actually looks like my mum when she was younger. I'm not even kidding. Uh, no police searches are in now. So, anyway, yes! The tape. I have no idea what this game is about. All I know is it's an indie horror and graphically it actually looks quite good. It's done in the Unity engine and I always have problems recording the Unity engine so I'm going to have to do a little bit of editing here and there just to make sure everything's in the right place. There's absolutely no way you could see through those car windows. Oh look, an abandoned house. How interesting. Is this going to be like a slender type game or will it be something different? That's what I want to know. I'm, I'm quite interested to see how this one does because like I said I've never actually heard of it before so this is definitely a new experience for me. It's really really slow just now. What the fuck? Yeah. Okay well the door went right through us. Uh, let's have a look over here. So a stand. I've got the kitchen. It's pretty damn messy. There's some papers and stuff. Windows wide open. Typical abandoned house story. Ooh, I'm a newspaper. I'm going to lie around and do nothing all day, just like you. Um, cheeky newspaper. Oh, great! I can clip through the table. Nice. I have no lower body. I have no lower legs. I've got nothing below the waist. I can float over everything. Well, aren't you pretty? You are just precious. I'll take you home with me, if I could carry you. Trap door. Don't you open that trap door. You're a fool if you dare. Don't you open that trap door. Cause there's something down there. Oh, well, we're shut in. Of course we're going to be shut in. That's, that's just part and parcel of the whole bloody thing. We get shut in and then we get stuck. And so, ooh, the wedding. Oh, hello. Mister. Uh, oh, sorry, you're wearing a bra. Mess. Oh, why are you so upset? What's the matter? Oh, here comes someone. Here comes a friend. This will be your new friend. You don't need to cry anymore. I mean, look. He's got a mask on and everything and a big apron. It's like nothing can possibly go wrong. Shh. Exactly. Shh. Nothing will go wrong here. We got a lovely knife. Yeah, nice. Nice. He's going to show you his knife now. Okay, so don't move. Because if you move, you might nick an artery. Okay, right, here we go, you see? Isn't that a lovely knife? Where did it go? Why is your hand backwards, man? Oh, now it's forwards again. She has a... Uh... Yes. Oh, oh, see, see, you shouldn't have done that, mate. She, she was just, what? she just wanted a friend. She didn't want to be a bucket of blood. Right, okay. So now where are we? Right, oh yeah, we're back where we were. I would like those. I want to take one of those with me. That would be nice. I would like to... I, I, why show me these things and not allow me to pick them up? Maybe it's because I have no arms. I'm only able to psychically pick up keys with my mouth. Can I say hello to anybody? Is, is, am I by myself? Is there any monsters? Anything for me f to run from? <gasps> Ooh, people! Hello! Hello, people down there! What are you doing? Can I come down and see you? Okay, I'm gonna come... I'm, I'll come down and see you. You guys just stay down there, okay? I'm not gonna go and see them. I'm going to avoid them at all costs. Don't tell them though. Shh. I was coming to see you. Actually, I'm going to go and see him. I'm going to see what he's got to say for himself. Excuse me, mate. Hi. Uh, where the bit says the bathroom in this? Really? Really? Was that it? Uh. Okay, we're going to avoid that guy. We're going to go this way. Empty here. Oh, oh, no, no, no. I'm going in here. I'm going in here. I hear something. What are you saying? What's that? Just wait here until the whoever it is walks by. Okay, there he goes. Right, I think I should be far enough. Okay, let's go. Doop, doop, doop. What? Seriously? Seriously? 
Oh, oh. It, 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 they, they sound bored with their job. It's like, yes, I'm going to kill you, but you know what? I can't be our student, so don't expect a massive scream of rage or anger. I'm just going to lightly tap in, you in the head with a torch and you're going to die, okay? Even if you're not dead, just please pretend that you're dead. Uh, uh, it, it sounds like an old man waking up from a rough night with cramp. Okay, but this time we're actually going to wait for a minute because there was someone who came from the right, you know. Uh, uh, come on, Mr. Man. Yeah, there he goes. Okay, and he spins around to the spot and walks the other way. That's fine. Give him a second. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Stealth. Yeah, all right. Why is girls does rant there? What? Why, why is the girlie there? Why is she trying to kill me? Oh, go oh, cussy. Okay. It's goulash. Well. Ah, hello, Mr. Ramsbottom. Why are you holding Charlie? And Fernando and the, the kids. What's going on? Oh, oh. Oh, the chiropractors. The demonic chiropractors. That's what it is. I, I do like the masks, though. The masks are pretty damn awesome. Oh, there we go. You see? Uh, yeah, we're even gonna, they're even going to work in your eye. There you go. See? Nice and black, just the way you wanted it. Indiana Jones and the chiropractors of doom. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, oh, there we go. They both got they, they both got quite funky masks, you know. That's uh, so the redeeming feature so far is that the masks are quite funky. The hell's that? I'd like you to pee into this cup, man, and then we're going to reset your spine slightly. But you don't look that old. Oh, trust me, I'm an old man. Didn't you hear me when I was trying to kill you? Uh. Yeah, no. Sorry, we've moved on from that. Let's move on. Okay, so we're in a room with a door, and we're, oh, we're going back down into the dungeon, so I wonder what the hell actually happened there. Mm-hmm. Got some funky music going on. We're well, nice and disinteresting. Ooh, what's this? The bird of evil. Oh, look at that! It's all, like lots of lots of little fishies like, bouncing around on it. Hello, little fishies. Oh, oh, no, wait, is that blood? Blood fishes, fishy blood. Up oh, and here comes a hand. Ah, uh, it's a cross between the ring and Hellraiser when Julia became out of the bed. Yeah, I think you've got a gas leak somewhere there. I could hear that there. It was like, oh. Yeah, I could do that too. Oh. Usually means like you're, you you no, I'm not even gonna go there. Walk in simulator. Walk in, walk in. Has nothing to do with Christopher walk in. Oh, okay, the better revealed the truth. And now we've got three things. Uh, three dots. So I'm assuming we've got to collect three things. Not that the game would actually tell me that much. I mean, and maybe I've got last three bits of health, or maybe, I don't know, maybe I've got to press those three buttons with the mouse. Maybe I've got to line them up with something. I, who knows? You know, it would be nice, nice to know these things. There's a picture of my mum in her younger days again. And, um, oh, one of the middle bits is lit up. Maybe I've just got to find, like, three different objects or something. I don't actually know what I'm actually meant to be doing. I feel like I've been walking around here for minutes. Oh, there's something that was meant to be a door but didn't quite make it into the game, you know. That's always a horrible thing, you know. It's like, I, I really want to be a door. Oh, okay, yes, you can be a door. Right. Okay, I've positioned myself perfectly. Do you know what? You're going to be a wall now. Uh, someone's having a really bad time in that bathroom. Maybe they need some poopery. You guys need some poopery? Here's another thing. That's across there. Oh, you light the candles. Okay, right, that makes sense. You guys, you guys probably think sometimes that I'm a little bit too harsh on games, but um, the reason I am harsh on some of these games is because I don't want you guys, you know, get, get under the illusion that you know um, a game's fantastic just because it will get me views. So that's why. And I don't go around going, oh my god, it's fantastic, oh my god, you're really going to play this, because this is something that I actually think you guys would enjoy. And saying that, you know, 
Okay, we're gonna go ahead towards our light. Here, hand the light. And saying that though, I mean seriously, it's like use your own judgment. My my opinion is my opinion. I I'm totally immune to the charms of most horror games these days. Um, horror game really has to be something special in order for to, to scare me. But I can't know. I cannot see where the hell I'm meant to be going. I've been walking around for so long. The music's actually stopped, and it started to loop around. I'm going. The way I would normally go in any sort of maze situation where I'm sticking to the right hand wall and there's a door that is completely blocked off to me. I've got all three things here that's... Uh, I've went in the direction it told me to go and it's not letting me go. Okay, so I figured that if it's not letting me go through the... this it's a majorly locked door that I can't get through so I reckon that it's... Maybe I need to go back to the start. Ah! Right, we got through the door. Okay. Okay, that should be it. Maybe. Let's see. Let's go up the stairs. Back up the stairs. Back into the light. Away from screamy toilet lady and uh, see what's going on. If anything. Uh, no. Okay, back then then maybe. Let's find out. And uh, we're stuck. Well, shit. Have I broke the game? Uh, okay, maybe we've got to stand in this corner and face the wall like a bad boy. No? Hmm. No. Okay, let's try going downstairs one more time. Nope. Bear back. Okay, so after having to go through the entire bloody game again, just to get back to this, but I have pre-collected all the stuff, I have researched where I'm meant to be going, and that's all. So, let's go where it is where I'm meant to be going. Yeah, there it is. There's the door that would not open. Okay, there we go. Ah, what's the end of the level? Something just completely glitched out. I broke the game. Fantastic. Right, now where are we? Ooh, big ball of light. Uh, more balls of light. Seems to be in the water somehow. How the hell did we get here? This game makes absolutely no sense. I don't even... Honest to God, guys, I, the only reason I'm continuing with this is generally because the game was bought for me. And I'd, I would feel bad otherwise. And, um, oh, hello. Okay, giant head lady. Okay, let's, uh, let's not go that way. Let's, uh, why did that light, was that light moving? I saw that light moving. There's more lights moving. Hmm, is this going to be like an angle first? Ooh, ooh, oh, oh, there's a hand. How handy. Okay, I hear something. Okay, I reckon we should stick to those lights. I get the film those... There's nothing there, I can't see anything. Okay, let's keep going. Well, there's a timer as well. What the timer's all about. Just have there. Okay, I reckon those lights are safety features. We need to stay near those lights. Those little balls of light. Oh, there she is again. Okay, right. I'm not I'm not even looking at her this time. I'm just gonna head towards any of the lights I can find. Uh right, okay. I'll stick with you. Oh no, of course, no, no, you're just going to bugger off, aren't you? That isn't that just the way, though, all the time. You find a nice glowy ball of light that's going to protect you, and of course, it buggers off. Uh, oh, there's one, there's one. Oh, it's back, it's back, okay. Head towards the light. We've got three and a half minutes to do whatever the hell it is we're actually meant to be doing. I have no idea. I'm becoming very, very angry at this game. Okay, right, we're in the light now. What's going on? Hello? Is anyone around? Is there anything? No? Just nothing really seems to be happening at all. So we stay in the light and everything's fine. Maybe that's a good thing. Doop 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 doo. Oh 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 no 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 there's there's big head lady, there's big head lady, there's big head Okay, the light destroys her. No, I still have two minutes and four, maybe... Oh, God. How many times do I have to destroy her? Okay, she doesn't like the light. If it touches the light, she touches the light, it destroys her. But, she can still somehow reach up and grab the light and pull it away. Ah, handy! Where is she? Where, where did you go? Yeah, I hear you. Where are you? Where are you? Where did, oh, God, seriously! 
I don't I don't understand the logic behind this. Got a minute and thirty, come on. If we do it, fair enough, I'll continue playing. But if I die one more time, that's it. Where did that one even go? Some of them float away, some of them are grabbed down, and some of them just randomly disappear for no apparent reason. Okay, there she is. Okay, come on, come on. We've only got a minute and ten left. One minute ten. Okay, don't, holy fuck, they're so far away. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, aha! Aha! She went completely through it. Nope, I'm done. Oh god, right, right, I'm sorry, I, I, I had to take a small break there because I'm just so annoyed. This game, while I, I do appreciate officially, you know, was junk. It was so bad. There was there was no plot to it, there was no... Like, there are a lot of, oops, there are a lot of good horror games out there that start off with absolutely no plot. Like I mentioned, they've got Slender, the 8 pages and things like that, and Dungeon Nightmares, I mean, the, but there's always a thought behind it of what was going to happen. This just appears to me that someone thought to themselves, you know what, I can make money off of making a horror game, and they've just put a bunch of Unity assets in and have absolutely no idea of how the story's going, and just thought, do you want to be scary? A giant head in water because I didn't like Jaws, or... Um, <laughs> There's, there's, there's no indication of what you're meant to be doing or anything like that and as you could have seen I broke the game I just I don't give this game I give this game a 2 out of 10 and that's mainly because of the graphical effects of the VHS tape thing other than that it's not what I'm ever going to come back to and it's not what I'm going to be able to recommend now official Aero this is not against you or the way you pick games I reckon you did well and thought that it was going to be something I would have enjoyed it's just unfortunate for you that the people who made the game made a really crappy game Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you next time, but until then, bye bye